Hello, welcome. Today is February 14, 2024, and I'm here to do our monthly check-in for a lovely zodiac sign. So without further ado, let's go ahead and clear our space and energy and let's get started. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So I just have a few zodiac signs left for this month. So let's see. There's three left. Who will be the lucky one on Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> All right. And today it is Taurus. So let's go ahead and check on you and see what is going on with your um, your love interest. So let's find out. Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to a person who is connected to Taurus in love? <clears throat> Dang, <laughs> my voice is going out. Um, <laughs> maybe uh, the person that you're connected to, Taurus, like they're having a hard time with communicating to you, but we'll find out. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person who is connected to Taurus in love? What is their current energy towards Taurus? In the present moment. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, first up we have breakup. And this is walking away, ending, separation. It's over. Also, we have roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, and strategy. And finally, we have single. Hmm. Alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. And uh, finally, we have signs and synchronicities, coincidence, signal, hint, message from the universe. So, I mean, I know that today is Valentine's and um, basically what I'm saying uh, from your person, okay, they could be walking away from a karmic relationship. Um, they're ending it, okay. And um, I feel as if like it's over for whatever reason. And your person is really contemplating if they should take a chance. Okay. But they're feeling alone. They're a little bit guarded. But the signs are nudging this person. Okay. To perhaps open up towards you. Now, if you know this person and you have no idea what's going on with their personal circumstance, especially if they were um, with a karmic uh, person, I have a feeling if you don't know anything about what's going on with them, chances are they're going through a breakup, okay, but you may not know about this, okay, however, they really feel like they need to be alone, and not really like open up towards you, but they can't help but to see the signs that maybe if they uh, take a chance, okay, maybe something will come of the situation. So let's find out. Spirit, can you tell me more about this person's energy? About the person who is connected to Taurus in love? Thank you. Yeah, that could be why my voice is going out. It's like this person wants to talk to you, but maybe they can't. Um, maybe it's just too soon because uh, they recently went through a breakup or they decided to leave a uh, karmic relationship. Now, if if Taurus, if you were in a relationship with someone, perhaps, you know, you actually broke up with a particular person and... Um, 
that person took a chance at just being single. They don't feel very good about it. Okay. So um, that could be for some. But I really feel like it's for a significant person who could have been out of your life. They were caught up in another relationship. And um, they are thinking of you from what I can see. But they're not ready yet to open up towards you. But... I don't know. With the roll of the dice, I mean, it's 50-50, right? So let's see. Okay, so we have here five of wands, and they're really conflicted, okay? Um, I really feel as if, okay, they don't want to have any argument. If, if anything, they want peace, okay? They don't want any drama, from what I can tell, and they're really sad. They're sad because... You know, maybe their ego is prohibiting them to reach out and connect with you. This could be your twin flame, okay? Um, your person is really uh, trying to take it slow. But they do have an opportunity to come towards you and communicate, okay? Um, that perhaps something has changed and um, they're torn. They don't know if they should contact you. But what I'm seeing here is that they are appreciative, okay, um, of everything that is going on in their life. They're really focused on trying to work on themselves. And I see that they're holding themselves back. I really feel as if your person doesn't want to rush and communicate to you because um, I feel like there was something fresh that they could have uh, gone through. And it, maybe it's not the time. But more than anything, I really sense that your person wants to connect with you. Okay. They really don't know. It's like they think about it, but then they cancel. Okay. Um, and it's possible because, you know, maybe they cut you off before in the past. Maybe they came off as being rude. But I see that they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to stabilize themselves. Um, if this person um, is a father figure, okay, could be a mother, I feel that they want to just really focus on um, being secure uh, as a person who is dependable um, from what I can see. So they're trying to come up with some sort of plan. And they really see that um, they want to know if you will forgive them for whatever it is. But right now, I see that they're trying to balance themselves. So, I mean, they still could be involved with the karmic. Like the karmic energy isn't completely out of the picture. They are still dealing with them. But do you see, like, they can't look at you yet. Okay, like, um, they're trying to be neutral is what I'm getting. Like, they don't want to stir the pot. The karmic is actually, like, not happy or they're getting whatever they need. But if they, uh, you know, approach you too soon, what I feel as if, like, they know they want to talk to you, they want to be with you. Um, but they're not sure if you're going to receive them in, in a highlight. They're still dealing with a karmic a situation, but I really feel like they're not with them. Okay. I really feel like they're alone. And I'm also saying that, um, they're not doing anything to make any kind of sudden changes at this time because they're avoiding gossip. So I just really feel that Taurus, someone really is thinking about you they're not sure if now's the time to approach you okay and uh what i'm seeing is that they're just holding back because they can't offer a commitment right now so let's go ahead and see what else is going on so this person um, really sees that you are their soulmate. You could be their twin flame and they keep uh, thinking of the past. Okay. Both you and your person are, are thinking of each other at this time. Um, stuck in the past, like someone had to leave the connection. Okay. So something must have happened between the two of you is what I'm seeing. Um, again, this is your energy here. Um, they are definitely a person. Um, 
with uh, traditional values, okay? Um, there is like this death card. There is a new beginning that is on the horizon. And I see that you feel like now is the time to really communicate and talk to this person, okay, about what's been going on. Like just being open, being truthful, having clear conversations. At least, you know, that's how you feel and your person feels that, um, you know, they kind of want the same thing too. Um, so right now, they definitely want to have this fresh start. But they need to put an ending towards their past before they move forward. And for you, I mean, good luck is on your side. I'm going to tell you this, Taurus. Um, you may not expect um, this person to come through. Okay, but there's something that's brewing. There's something that's going on um, behind the scenes that I feel that universe is conspiring like a little concoction, if you will, so that you guys can get together. Okay, um, I feel like there's something simmering. <laughs> I don't know, maybe somebody likes to cook here, um, but that, that that's what I feel. Again, I mean, I feel very strongly that this could be your twin. So I'm seeing here the Empress energy. This person is is really, they love you deeply, okay? There, there's like this deep bond or connection that they have with you. However, I really feel like your person isn't really showing this to you. They're not expressing it to you. They're keeping it more to themselves. They may be coming off like they're still not uh, like into you or they're not thinking of you, especially on a day like this. Okay, for those of you who celebrate Valentine's Day, I say that with you, Taurus. Um, you really don't know. Okay, you don't know if your person is doing this to manipulate their position or just is this like another uh, like thing that they're doing to you to make you go crazy. I don't know what this is. But I definitely feel like both you guys have like this deep love connection. And, and I guess that's um, the best way I could put it. And you guys aren't together. Okay. I feel like both you guys are thinking of each other. I, I feel that both you guys want to be with one another in a physical way. But I don't feel like you guys are reaching out, connecting with each other, possibly because some somebody is going through an ending of a situation and they're not completely in the clear yet. Okay, um, that's what it feels like. So um, they are breaking free. I really feel like they are freeing themselves. They would feel really bad because like if they were to recently break up with someone and then just jump in and communicate with you, that kind of makes them look like a liar, maybe a cheater. Maybe um, they haven't been loyal to whoever that they were dealing with. Okay. And I see that with you. You're resisting something. Okay. Like you don't want to be a homewrecker also. Okay. I really feel like... Um, yeah, maybe for some of my tours, you're also thinking about going through a divorce. Okay, maybe for both counterparts, both you guys are in marriages. And um, and both you guys are, are looking to get out of each other's, like, relationships. You know, if you're with a karmic and your other person is with someone else. I see that this person is leaving that situation. But um, maybe for some of my tours, if you're actually still in the connection... Um, I could be talking uh, about you, like you're still with that karmic, okay, while well, your person is on their way out the door, but they still haven't connected with you yet to let you know that um, they're about done. <laughs> I mean, I still feel like there's still some loose uh, ends on the, that side, but um, th they really want to contact you, but for for reasons okay like they just feel like maybe it's too soon so they're coming out with some sort of idea here okay they feel like there's just too much that's going on okay and you feel like you can't put any effort so maybe there's just too many people too many uh, variables that are in the way 
for you guys to get together. But I the the feelings are mutual. So your person is um maybe they're jealous that it's taking too long. Okay. Um maybe they're like you know, I want to say selfish or just being upset, like it's just taking too long. And for you, you have a lot of fear because maybe you're playing it conservative okay like maybe you're just taking your time so i'm not gonna lie i really feel like this could be two people okay like you and this other person are in like another relationship because i really feel like that's for some who's watching this <laughs> or it could be one person who is getting out of a relationship they're they're on their way out but it, it's too soon to contact you okay and you have fear because it's been a while. It's been a long time and you don't know like this person um, still thinks of you in, in the same way. But that's what I'm seeing here. So, you know, I really feel like that's why we have here roll the dice, you know, are they willing to take a chance and take a leap of faith on this love? I feel like, you know, yeah, they, they've really thought about it, but I feel like, you know, instead of like causing drama, they're just holding themselves back because, um, yeah, they don't want extra crap in their life <laughs> is what I'm feeling, but they do want to. Okay. I really do feel that. So let's see. Spirit, what message wants to come through from your person who is connecting uh, to you through this reading? What is the message? What is the message that wants to come through, Spirit? You excite me in ways I've never knew existed pleasure. So you actually pleasure them. You stabilize them. And I'll always forgive you unconditional. So like, I really feel like, okay, so it doesn't matter like whose fault is whose, right? I really feel like for whatever reason, you guys had to go into separation because of external circumstances, whether or not it's them or you or the both of you, right? Um, this is an unconditional love. So I really felt that in the very beginning because it felt like, you know, like a twin flame, like a soulmate connection. Both you guys have like this undying love towards one another. Like the flame never really burnt out. It always was lit the whole time. Um, you excite them. You still do is what I'm saying. Um, so if you did something to them, Taurus, okay, and I could be talking about the other person, there's forgiveness here, okay? I really feel like this is like a, you know, hey, if you had the opportunity, you can kiss and make up. Um, that would be the ideal solution in this uh, relationship. But the love is still there, okay? I see it. I feel it. Um, this is like you know, you always have like a space in your heart for this person, you know, they never really left, it was always there, okay, that kind of vibe, so let's go ahead and see what is the advice or guidance that spirit wants you to know, spirit, what is the advice that you have for Taurus, what is the advice What is the advice? Yeah, surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So... Maybe, you know, I'm talking about the other person. Maybe I'm talking about you. But whoever this person is, okay, 
really stay true to yourself instead of doing for everyone else. Do you? Okay, today's Valentine's. You know, I always am an advocate for self love because self love is the best love. If you don't love yourself, then how can you really love someone else? Okay, also, this person has loved you unconditionally. You know, and vice versa. Maybe you are the person who have also loved this person unconditionally, and you know, for whatever reason, someone here likes to people please. Okay, it's okay not to just make everyone else happy. Like, really, make you happy. Make you happy. You know, and um. This love will never go away. That's what I feel. You know, um, I really feel like this is a to be continued, but there's something that is coming up, and maybe it's because like this person was always trying to please everyone, and it's probably because they're missing something inside. It's because maybe they miss you, they miss that love that you gave to them. But I feel like the um, the antidote or the answer here is loving yourself instead of others before you. And then once you fill your own cup, then your cup will be overflowing. And you will have so much love and so much compassion and forgiveness to to give. And it wouldn't matter. That's what I have, guys. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, uh, you can do so at www.scorpiamoonintuition.com. You can also uh, follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye bye. <music>